Meet Vanessa. She's the APAC sales lead for a pharma company with a $200 billion market cap. She's been tasked with creating the go-to-market strategy for a breast cancer treatment to enter the Thai market. Thai market's really important because of its regional growth in the healthcare space. So how does she begin? She purchases market research reports that are aggregations of internet scrapings and group interviews. Unfortunately, these tend to be out of date anywhere from one to five years. This does not get her the insights to set their go-to-market strategies. So the next thing she does is she takes her sales team and manually has them speak with medical distributors, go to doctors and interview uh, clinicians, and even attend medical conferences to learn more about how uh, treatments and outcomes are changing. So this whole process costs them six months. They only get 10% coverage and insights in the market. They've spent $50,000 on market research reports and $50,000 on their sales team costs. So after all this time, six months and $100,000, Vanessa is still not able to set her go-to-market strategy. If they're unable to make this decision, her company risks running one to three years behind their competitors. We are Sage Health. With us, Vanessa's company gets real-time primary data for the health industry to enter emerging markets. Let me show you how it works. Hospital, hospitals, software vendors, and governments partner with us. They trust us to anonymize their data and make it legally compliant so it can be analyzed and commercialized. When Vanessa logs into her accounts, she's able to choose a disease of focus, a specific target geography, and a patient type. Next, she's presented with a dashboard that she's then further able to select variables. Something of interest for her is how her product is doing in the market. Another would be what does the patient uh, demographic and comorbidities look like uh, for their particular patient subtype. She's then presented with a targeted sales opportunity, specifically in North Thailand. And here, she understands that because of her product's safety profile, they can enter North Thailand and outcompete the market leader in sales. The only other, uh, with this, they go from spending $100,000 every six months to $36,000 for the year. The only other decision is which of our subscription plans they'd like to choose. The global health data market has a huge data gap and we're set to fill it. Pharma companies traditionally spend $18 billion uh, just in market research understanding per year. What that means is on average there are 15,000 products launched across Southeast Asia to the 12 countries. Sage Health is the only player in emerging markets providing real-time primary data. Let me tell you a little bit about the team. I'm Doug, and I'm the CEO. Uh, I have worked over the past 12 years with uh, 42 federal governments building a nine-figure uh, medical supply chain company. I've also been a health expert uh, and worked with governments as well, as well as multilateral organizations. Shannon, our chief business officer, uh, has worked extensively across Southeast Asia, specifically Thailand, on government contracts. And last but certainly not least, Charos Khan, or Shaz, uh, has worked very closely uh, in MENA to build products. Specifically, he built a data insights solution uh, that in three months was able to generate $12 million in revenue. Traction to date. Currently, we have 15 million medical records in MOU within the time market alone. That gives us approximately 25% of all records. Additionally, we have completed a proof of concept with AstraZeneca, and we're currently negotiating to expand the scope, both in terms of the products delivered and the geographies we service. We hope to close in the next few weeks our first commercial contract in revenue. We have inbound demand. Uh, from a market research company that needs over 7,000 market research reports annually. This puts us on track for half a million dollars in ARR starting in January. 
we have unfair access to the China market. Uh, in my last trip in October of 2023, we had inbound demand from over 7,000 pharma and medical device companies all seeking to go overseas. I'm personally speaking with 10 of these organizations a week. And last but certainly not least, governments trust our solution. We have signed a sandbox collaboration with the Thai government on data privacy, as well as data processing. As you can see, this is a large market opportunity. We have significant traction in our first six months of operation, and we're just getting started.